Hello everyone, welcome to Mayur Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem. And the problem's name is daily temperatures. So the problem statement goes like this. Given an array of integers, temperatures representing the daily temperature, return an array of return an array answer such that ith element of answer array is the number of days you have to wait after the ith day to get a warmer temperature if there is no future day for which that is possible keep the uh, answer of answer at that ith index as zero instead and let's have a look at the constraints the order of the length of the temperature array will be of order 10 raised to power 5 and each element will be ranging from 30 to 100 so let's see how we'll be solving this particular problem basically let's take this as our input for our function and let's see how we'll be solving it we will be using the concept of monotonic stack those of you who are not familiar with what monotonic stack is i will be providing a link of an article where you can explore or understand how monotonic stack works basically monotonic stack is nothing but stack is in leaf form manner last in first out so if you see that monotonic stack will be either in uh, increasing order from top to bottom or it will be in decreasing order okay whether it's strictly increasing or strictly decreasing that's a different case but this is what monotonic stack is monotonic means it is having a single kind of flow or pattern okay it cannot be like let's say it's increasing starting from the very first element and then let's say in middle it's decreasing so this should not be there or let's say it is decreasing starting from the very first element and then let's say after some time it's increasing it will not be uh, true for monotonic stack either it will be decreasing from the first element okay or it will be increasing from the first element so that's the case for monotonic stack it's a general stack only it is the way that we are using the stack which matters in this kind of applications of stack okay so let's see how we'll be doing that to how we using this uh, data structure stack to solve this particular problem and why are we using stack at the first place you may ask because if we mark the indices and if we are traversing the array in this manner left to right then let's say there is a stack which is having holding only indices okay so the first index is zero now we will check whether the next element that we are trying to add into the stack let's say we are trying 
okay and uh, then this element we will see that whether the top of the stack is the stack empty this will be your index stack it's not empty as of now it was empty when we started with the zeroth index so it was empty then we pushed zero then if we arrive at this particular index and we see that the stack is not empty so we will see that what is the element that is represented by top of the stack so it is 73 now we will be maintaining stack in increasing order okay because we are asked for warmer temperatures so each of the new entry if it's a uh, if it is greater than the current entry so it will be giving us a warmer temperature so here 74 was greater than 73 so it was a warmer temperature for 73 indeed so what we will do we will build a answer array and at this index we will push the difference so your current index and current temperature is 73 and current index is 1 and the top of the stack was representing 0 which was having a temperature smaller than current in, uh, temperature which is 74 so we will Uh, for this that particular index we will put the difference of the current index and the top of the stack so it was nothing but 1 minus 0 so we will put 1 okay now 73 is gone out of the stack and we will be putting 1 instead to represent 74 okay it is 74 now now we came to the second index which is 75 now the stack is also not empty and you can see that the top of the stack the element represented by top of the stack is smaller than the current element or let's say the current temperature which is 75 now and current index is 2 so we will again put the difference here in the answer array and remove the element present okay now it will be 75 and index will be 2 and the difference will be again entered in the answer now comes the third index you will see that the current temperature which is now by the way 71 and the current index is t the current temperature is lesser than 75 it is lesser than or equal to 75 it was 71 we are here so we will not be popping anything out of the stack we will just push it on the top of the stack okay so it will be index 3 okay now we will be moving forward now our next element is 69 and your current index will be 4 okay now the top of the stack is representing 71 since 69 is also lesser than the top of the stack we will be pushing it on the top of the stack okay so with that done we will be moving to 72 okay now current temperature is 72 and current index is 5 you will be seeing that 72 is greater than these two but not greater than 75 
so these two will be popped out of the stack and the difference of the current index and the index at the top of the stack will be entered into the answer so 75 for 75 it will we will be on hold for these two it will be one and two since uh if you take difference of four with five it will be one and if you take difference of three with five this is three it will be two so two and one uh, and uh, then we will push 72 on top of the stack okay so let's empty the stack now 72 will be pushed and it was the fifth index now we came to 76 okay which was the sixth index by the way okay now how we will be pushing it to the stack we will see that the two elements that are represented by the indices in the stack are lesser than the current temperature okay and then we will pop these one uh, these two also and put the difference corresponding to their indices so for 75 it will be 6 minus 2 4 and for 72 it will be 6 minus 5 which will be nothing but 1 okay now you will only be having 76 in the stack so 76 was corresponding to 6 sixth index then comes 73 now 73 is lesser than the top of the stack okay so your current element is 73 and index is 7 so you will be pushing it to the top of the stack the index which is representing 73 okay so for these indices we will not be having any warmer temperature since we are already at the end of the array so for them the answer will remain zero okay so this is how we will be solving this particular problem let's see the implementation So this is the stack that will be storing indices. Or this is the data structure. Let me zoom out quickly. Yeah, now it's fine. This is the data structure. That will be storing indices according to the increasing order of values represented by them okay so it will be a increasing monotonic stack okay and this is just a variable to see what is the size of the current temperature sorry and this is the 
data structure that we will be returning answer okay now for each element we will be removing the entries for each temperature if the stack is not empty we will be removing the entries in the stack which represent temperatures lesser than current temperature lesser than current temperature okay and this is how we will achieve that if the stack is empty then we are not worried about anything we will just push the index okay and the for for the indices that are being popped out of the stack we will put the difference of the uh, those indices with the current index for the indices popped out of the stack we will push the indices push the difference uh, we will add the difference of those indices with current index corresponding to their entries or say places in answers array or say vector okay so this is what we will be doing for the indices that are being popped out of the stack these indices uh, the temperature represented by these indices is lesser than the current temperature okay and at last you will be returning your answer for the indices for which we were not uh, we were not able to find any temperature warmer in the whole array it will be zero since vector is initialized to zero all the elements in the vector are initially initialized to zero so we not we need not to take care of that and we will simply be returning our answer so that that is how we will be solving this particular problem if you are still having any doubts or any queries in general then feel free to ask them in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day ahead